What's up guys, Jonah Austin, welcome back to another Jonah Austin review video. My last re review video, the Black Max, and using the Black Max got tons of views. So we're doing another one. I purchased a $30 Sugailang reel off of Amazon. Boys, before we start, I just want to talk a little bit. So, uh, I know I haven't been posting in a while. I've posted in like a week, and I haven't been fishing in like four days. It's unhealthy. It really is. But yeah, also, I was looking at my past videos today, and I realized I was such a bad fisherman. By that, I mean, I had no idea how to work soft plastics or any lure at all. I had no idea how to hold fish. If this is the lip of the fish, I'd hold it like, like this. I'm sorry, I'm sorry I'm being quiet, but like, it, it's nighttime and I don't want to wake anybody. But like, now I, now I try and hold it more like that. Oops. Yeah, that's kind of annoying, but I'm trying to get better. I'm still not amazing, but I'm improving. And we're just going to test this bad boy out and see if it's really as good as the price. Here we go. So let's get to the review itself. The colors actually very nice. It's, it looks professional. They've got the chrome black with the gray and gold. I like that. I like that. Except for the handle. I don't. I could do without the handle. I could just do with a regular handle. But you know, it's all good. It'll catch fish. And it says this thing has 13 ball bearings. 13. Like, is that real? Is, is it real? <laughs> maybe they're just cheap, or maybe they're like not lying at all. Or maybe they're just lying. Hey, hands down, it is pretty smooth. And once again, this is Sugailing. It was $30 on Amazon. A lot of their reels are cheap like this. And I got 8 pound mono on here, just this cheap Omniflex 8 pound mono. Nothing much. And I have it on a team. I'm going to put it on a team Daiwa S spin finesse spinning rod. It's really good. That rod's really good for feeling for bites. And it's just an amazing, amazing spinning rod overall. The pounds to yards ratio, six, six pound line, 270 yards, 10 pound line, 185, and 12 pound line, 135. I got this reel in the 30 size, the 3000, the CM, it's called the CM3000. But I feel like I've already gone all, over all the basics. It's smooth and it'll catch fish. And I did do a review on this a few days ago, but I didn't like how it finished off. It just wasn't good quality. So uh, I just scrapped that and I'm making this one right now. And I did a bit of casting and it's pretty smooth, but it's nighttime. I'm gonna do some more casting in the morning to show you guys. See, it's nighttime. It's right now August 21st. This will probably be uploaded on the 22nd. Or maybe, no, it's gonna be the 22nd. And then I'm gonna make a using this reel I'm gonna make a video about that. I need to regain my mojo. I have not been posting in a while. So, let's get some sleep and put this baby to the test. All right, folks, here we go. We got a yum dinger on. Oh, there's another pond over there. Got the dinger on, the June bug, June bug dinger. Okay, it casts really nice. Yeah, I really like it. Reels nice and smooth. Casts well. And it'll catch a fish. So I'll let you know if I get any. And I'll take a picture of it. Folks, thank you all so much for watching. I didn't end up catching any fish. But one thing I did end up doing is casting a great reel. I definitely recommend it if you're just getting cheap spinning reel I don't, I don't know the bait casters maybe i should try and get a bait caster and review it for you guys see see how it is but uh yeah it's great reel cheap nice it'll catch fish so yeah that that's pretty much that's all it real needs to be um and also like subscribe thanks so much for watching and always go 
watch some more Jonah Austin videos, but not my old ones because I used to suck so bad. Alright, bye.